The Titanic was the world's largest and most opulent ship at the time. With the exception of the lifeboats, no cost was wasted during its construction and assembly. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will discover the richest man in the world was aboard the Titanic. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without further ado, let's hop on right into the video. The Titanic will cost $190 million to build today. Let's go back to 1912 for a detailed map of the tragic transport ship. We'll take you inside the cabins of a few of the ship's richest guests. Featuring multi-millionaire John Jacob Astor IV, but do not be concerned about icebergs. Simply chill and take on the beautiful journey. Let's start by going to the first class receiving area on the D-Deck. This is where the ship's richest passengers on board congregate to discuss the day's events. The magnificent grand staircase is the first thing you'll notice about this magnificent room. The light oak tone of the staircase stood out against the white reception room walls. An exquisite Trouberesque chandelier bra was placed at the bottom of the staircase on the center railing. Let's glance at the first class cabin now. Only the Titanic's wealthiest passengers were allowed to stay in the first stateroom. The first class cabins were designed in a wide range of styles, including Louis XVI's Empire, Adam Italian Renaissance, Louis XIV, Queen of the Regency Anne, is both a contemporary and antique Dutch woman. It would be an exaggeration to say that the first class cabins were lavish. For the Titanic's wealthiest guest, John Jacob Astor IV, the $150 entrance was nothing. When the Titanic sank, the entrepreneurial magnet died, leaving most of his $150 million worth to his son, Vincent. Currently, that money is estimated to be worth around $3.5 billion. Ben Guggenheim, who was valued at around $4 million, was another renowned first-class traveler. There were cabins that were more even opulent than the staterooms. There were four parlor suites on the Titanic, two of which has access to a private waterfront promenade. Each parlor suite had two large bedrooms, a laboratory, and a large sitting room. The sitting rooms were elegant and spacious, allowing guests to organize modest parties. Guests might unwind by the cracking fireplace or play auction bridge on the enormous card table. Guests may even compose a letter on the desk in the sitting area and have it delivered to the Titanic's post office. In 1912, a parlor suite cost $4,350, inflation adjusted that is over $100,000. During Titanic's inaugural trip, yachtswoman Charlotte Drake Cardeza, a big game collector and a fan of the Ark, remained in a parlor suite. She had a total of $5,500 in cash on board. Inflation adjusted, that works out around to $132,000. The wealth on the Titanic did not survive the tragedy, but Cardeza did. Let's take a closer look at the first class dining room, which was tinted and adorned with elaborately simple ivory boisair. The flooring was tiled in a blue leatherette layout with an intricate red and yellow design. The dining saloon's arrow slits were filled with leaded glass windows to provide ambience. To provide the area that the restaurant was located on land rather than at sea, the ship's final meal was an extravagant occasion. Let's move on to one of the Titanic's most opulent features, the Turkish Bass. The Turkish Bass were only accessible to first class guests, which were just behind the first class elevator and grand staircase on the F deck. The baths were richly ornamented with blue-green tiles in a Middle Eastern style. The district cooling area of the Turkish bath was ornamented with bronze lighting and it designed in a Moorish and Arabic style blend. A splendid granite drinking fountain stood against one wall, and the ceiling was adorned with gilded beams and hanging lights. Finally, check out the Titanic's Parisian style cafe. The Cafe Parisienne was placed just above the library and turbine engine on the Titanic's aft deck. Both first class and second class passengers could eat, rest, mingle, and enjoy in the cafe, but second class can also do the same. Additionally, guests were exposed to breathtaking vistas of the open ocean. The Charlizis of the cafe were laced with the live English ivy and a lush green carpet stretched the length of the space. At Cafe Parnisi, guests could enjoy a wide range of delicacies. Tea and delicacies such as chartreuse, jelly, and chocolate and vanilla eclairs were eaten by the same attendees. Other visitors indulged in more substantial fare such as oysters, roast duck, foie gras salmon, and beef sirloin. The question I have for you all, did Rose have enough room for Jack on that tile? I think that she did, but that's another story. Here's another fascinating fact. The Titanic film was more expensive to produce than the ship itself. The Titanic had a budget of $200 million, and the ship itself cost $7.5 to build. Inflation adjusted, that's around $190 million. 
That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.